I'm John Winley, Commissioner for the Town of Kidova Hills. And behind us will be the new restroom facility for the Prospect Avenue Beach Access. Our board recently looked at ways to improve the overall beach experience for residents and tourists alike. And we found that by adding restroom facilities would be a great way to do so. The Prospect Avenue bathhouse will have two rooms, a men's and a women's. It'll be single use, ADA compliant. Um, we've contacted a local architecture, Beacon Architectural Services, and uh, they drew up the plans for us. And then we've contracted with Two Guys Services and they've already started construction. This is one of just many capital improvement projects that the town is working on. Here is Public Services Director Steve Albright to tell you more. Hello, my name's Steve Albright. I'm the Public Services Director responsible for the streets, solid waste, and water divisions of the Public Services Department for the Town of Kildevil Hills. We've had a busy off-season again this year. Work has recently been completed on 6th Avenue and West Hayman Boulevard, including the Circle. Projects added drainage, resurfaced the existing streets, and at West Hayman, paved the gravel connectors at the Circle and formalized some on-street parking by paving these spots at both the park and the pier. Town Hall Drive is awaiting asphalt paving to complete the final phase of the project. These projects have improved approximately 1.1 miles of poor streets in Kildevil Hills. The Board of Commissioners recently approved next year's projects, including for the fall, West Cedar Drive, Captain's Lane, Captain Circle, and Tequa Drive. Also approved was a spring project, including East Helga, Briggs, East Forth, East Martin, and East Dean Streets. Survey and design of these project groups will begin shortly to improve drainage and renew pavement on over one mile of streets. Construction will begin after bid acceptance, likely sometime in September of 2020. Work on the town's new 400,000 gallon elevated water tank behind me at the fire station 1634 North Karatan Highway continues. Crews are in the final stages of painting both the interior and exterior. The coatings process includes multiple layers to create a system that performs well in our challenging coastal environment. After coatings, the next steps will include what we refer to as yard piping, the underground pipes that will connect the new tank and the pump station to the distribution system. A finish out crew will also soon be arriving to complete the interior work and piping, sensors, and electrical work along with their subcontractors. Additional pump station work is also planned for March, providing upgrades and repairs to the existing pumping station. While this work is underway, you will also see construction begin on the new monopole located just north of the new elevated tank. Eventually, the cellular equipment will be relocated from the existing elevated tank to the monopole, and then the old tank will be removed, likely in early summer. The Streets Department is continuing with our off-season drainage maintenance activities in many neighborhoods. You may have seen their recent work along 158 at Acock, Walker, Sopel, Chowan, and Heyman Streets. Other recent work areas include North Memorial, Woodmere, West Ocean Acres Drive, Columbia and Palmetto, Lee Avenue, and Wallace and Apache Streets. We also have additional work planned for Princess Anne and Port Hole Court. If you have drainage concerns, please feel free to contact us at 252-480-4080.